This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. To the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This lab is just recently updated and because of that you guys are facing the issue. So here is a updated solution for this lab. Previously when we are starting the lab we are getting one unique form id. With that form id we are able to complete the lab without any issue. Because it's very easy for us to identify those tasks and complete that. But now if we just check over here there is no unique form id. Now it's our task to identify those tasks and complete the lab. How can you identify that? For that you have to just me start the lab and once done with that you have to just me scroll down and you have to just me check the sequence of the task. Okay. Now in the description box of this video I will share one github link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this github repo. Okay. Now what you do you have to just me come back over here and you have to just me check the sequence. So as you can see for the task number one what is the name of the task create pop sub schema. So just me come back over here and just me check. If your task lies between this form id then you can just me understand that okay this is your form id. Okay so for me the given task number one is create a pop sub schema. So just me come back over here scroll down. So as you can see create a pop sub schema. Okay now you have to just me check the task number two. Just me scroll down you can see create pop sub schema topic using schema. So just me scroll down and from here you can see this is the same name over here and for the last confirmation just me scroll down and from here you can see create a trigger cloud okay so just me scroll down and from here you can see create a trigger cloud function okay so i can say for me the given lab is in form id 2 in the same way you have to also configure okay you have to just me come back over here and you have to just me check your form ids and you have to just me cross verify your task name okay one more thing for this particular challenge lab we only have three form id okay so for you form id might be one two or three you have to just me cross verify over here okay now what you do first of all just me scroll up and from here you can see this url so just me open this url in incognito window this will activate the cloud shell so just me wait for that And it's done. Now just me go back to your form ID over here. So for me the given form ID is 2. So just me copy that command over here. Just me come back paste hit enter. Wait for a second. Now here you can see region. For that just me come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see region. Copy that. Come back paste hit enter. Okay. Now make sure that you have to enter the correct form ID number. Okay. So for me the given number was 2. So just me hit enter button over here. Wait for a second and then just me click on authorize. Now you have to just wait for this command get execute and once it's done you are done with this lab. You don't have to worry about anything. Just wait for a couple of minutes. Just make sure that your laptop will not go for a sleep. Otherwise your cloud will be disconnect and because of that you might face error. So just take care of that thing. Now just wait for a couple of minutes.
and it's finally done. Now if you just need to come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated for any particular task, no need to worry. Just need to wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue. As you can see, it's done. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys. Remember, this video is for educational purpose. Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.